Okay, there we go, guys. Today, my third session of live streaming, and today we are going to focus on advanced pattern drafting, which I use the traditional pattern drafting method and apply it in Clue. So, by the end of this video, we will finish. Promise, we will finish this skirt pattern right there. We have invisible zipper in the back and we have a complete A-line skirt. When I said a complete A-line skirt, which means we will apply the skirt hem onto the skirt. So if I looked at over here, I have skirt hem as well as I have facing for the skirt. So this is a traditional pattern drafting method and with this pattern it's exactly as you sew the skirt outside of the of the 3D software. For example, the only thing that we don't have here is seam allowance. Once again, we don't need seam allowance here. And if you guys new to PDF sewing pattern, normally we either state in the description how much seam allowance should be or not, or versus draw a line on top. With the 3D itself, we do not need to have seam allowance in it. We have to finish the dress or the garment with doubt seam allowance. And then when we export the pattern into a PDF, we will add seam allowance, which is either we add it in Clove or we bring it out into Adobe and we add it. So whichever convenient. However though, hemline a little bit different. We can either create a fold and create the traditional hemline or we would apply top stitches to have the image appear like we have hemline but actually it isn't. With this pattern making I want to demonstrate the hemline process to go with the invisible zipper in this course. Okay, So no further ado, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I'm going to show you with this. So I have a step-by-step -step guideline. Let me find this. Okay, so right here, I will have this guideline in my blog, and then I will have that blog link right beneath the video. So over here, I have step one, step two, and I have measurement come with it. So not only you can watch the video and learn with it or follow along, you can also go back to the blog link. I have a snapshot from step one till the finish of the garment or the pattern drafting method. Okay, so this will be really useful when you first starting out drafting pattern in close 3D. Okay, now. Let's cut to it. All right, let me remove this and then we will start drafting the pattern from scratch. Okay, so first first thing we will load the avatar and by the way guys this measurement will fit will fit clow avatar default. So I'm gonna go to avatar here, double click to open and then go to female underscore retail, then come down here to Camilla, double click on her to load. And let me get my guidebook. I have my note for this pattern and once again guys this method you can measure 
yourself or your friend and then you can follow along because it traditional give me a second it a traditional pattern drafting method you can use this method for 3d software like i'm doing right now for adobe illustrator or for hand drafting okay how we do like certain copy and unfold function you can't do that with hand drafting but you know what i meant so let's begin so i like to have my 2d and 3d open which is allow me to see even though i use number but i like also visual see what it looks like on to the avatar all right so let's begin i will go to this rectangle tool here by the way guys this is going to be advanced pattern i'm not going to explain a lot about tool or function but whichever tool and function i will use here as long as you follow along by the end of this course you will know how to draft an a-line skirt okay so we have to finish this course right probably at five o'clock i like to get it on when then okay so once again i just click on this rectangle tool and i'm going to click one right there then i'm going to type in the width of the skirt so the width of the skirt in this case I actually have in my note here and we are going to create one fourth of the skirt so the width is 31.27 and then the height so the skirt length 53 however though we minus 3 centimeter so that equal to be 50 we minus 3 centimeter for the waistband and after that i'm going to double check 31.27 and then 50 then i'm going to click on ok all right then i'm going to use the transform tool transform pattern tool and then click and then drag it down a little and i can see through the avatar here if you don't be sure to go to this vertical toggle menu and then select translucent texture okay not monochrome you want it nor transparent you want the translucent right here okay now i'm going to create step two so step two we want to create internal line here one for the dot and one for the waist to create internal line i will select this edit pattern tool click on that then click on the center line then right click and we want to select right here offset as internal line okay then we want to change number of offset to two and this then we want to select individual and offset from we want that from select a little sorry selected line okay then i'm going to type in here the dot line eight centimeter and another thing here guys if you guys have it in inches you can go into setting and user interface and change it okay change it to a centimeter or vice versa so now go back to the offset from selected line ah excuse me selected line then number one we want that to be eight centimeter and number two we want that to be the waist measurement so the waist me measurement here 17 point 47 and be sure double check so eight centimeter this is a dot line right there and 17.47 right here be sure it's sometimes close have the fault to different than offset from selected line for example like previous line you will have this weird line like so far that's not the correct amount you want that chain to select selected line okay sorry i'm kind of my tank a little bit uh, ramble today so we want that to be select selected line if i keep misspoke that word and now i'm going to click on okay now we just create two internal lines now step three and i'm not gonna refer to the step anymore because you can follow along 
Next, we want to create this internal line from the top down. And this is going to be the waist curve, the hip circumference, and the dot zipper notch. Okay. So I'm going to click one right here, right click, and we want to select offset as internal line. Then we want to create three and distant individual selected line perfect and we want to change this to 1.5 press on the tab key then we change that to 12 press on the tab key and then let me check this one here we want to change that to 16 okay after that i'm going to click on okay okay be sure to double check if it yeah it appeared to be correct then click on OK. Next we want to create internal line from the bottom for the hem. So click one right there, right click and then select offset as internal line. After that we want to change number of offset to one. Then we want to put right here 2.5. Okay a little bit explanation here. The skirt hem is the pen if let's say if you drop a pencil skirt, most likely the skirt hem stay flat. But the more the the wider the skirt the skirt hem circumference, the more curl you need to decrease. Right now it's two point five decrease right here, okay? Because the skirt hem is appropriate for that number. So as a designer, you would play with the measurement and you trial and error see what is appropriate in this case i came up with 2.5 next i'm going to click on ok all right so next we want to draw an a-line shape to do that i will use this uh, excuse me use this polygon internal polygon shot line tool which is up up here click on that and click on that or shortcut key letter G then simply click one right here and then click one over here and then click one over here okay then I'm going to press on return into on the keyboard and next let me zoom in to this him I want to create a little curve here okay to do that I will use this curve tool so edit curvature, click on that and then click on that curve and then drag it down. Simply let that line touch right there. Okay. And next I'm going to trace this as a pattern. To trace that, I will use the tracing tool here. Click on that. And then I'm going to click one here and press on shift. Continue clicking. Click right here. Click right here. And then I'm going to relieve the shift key and then right click. Then I want to select trace as pattern and zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to press on shift and then click one to place. Then over here, I'm going to click one on a page here to deselect. Okay. So when we trace many of the line came with it. Okay. After that, we want to do a couple of things here. I'm going to switch my tool to this edit pattern tool I want to extend this line right here this is a dot line so click on it right click and we want to select extend slash trim at point okay and click on to pattern outline now this right here we just create point for it and that we will use that point to create dot okay so next I'm going to Click one on the page here, right click, and we want to lock all pattern outlines. Okay. Then I'm going to mark key select all these lines here. Right click and I want to convert to baseline. Just like that. And after that we have to come back here and then lock that baseline. Okay. Click on the lock baseline icon. Oh, excuse me, lock baseline icon here and sometimes you have to click on twice but this time i i only click one and then lock if it, you have to click on twice click on twice uh 
I know it is locked because have this marching iron on that line. If somehow it doesn't have that, it means it's not locked. And then you just go back and then click on locks again. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to come back here and then right click. I want to unlock all pattern outline. Okay. After that, I'm going to zoom in a little and click on that point there, right click, and we want to add dot. Okay. All right. So my dot measurement here, total width two centimeter, dot arm with one centimeter, the length, we want that to be 10 centimeter. Okay. Then I'm going to click on OK here and then press on return into on the keyboard to confirm. Now we just create this perfect dot, almost perfect though. Next step, we want to draw a curve here to create a waist curve, okay? To do that, I will use once again internal polygon slash line tool and click one right here from this line and then come to this point right there. Then this time I'm going to click twice to end my line. Next, I also want to create a curve right there, which go to this edit pattern tool and then select edit curvature tool or press on letter C on your keyboard. All right, so right here I'm going to simply click and then drag down just a little bit to create this curve. Okay, next I will switch my tool to the transform pattern tool then right click on that line and then I want to select cut. Now we just cut this line. Okay, after we cut that, now we have an issue here. Let me go to this edit pattern tool. So the issue here, we have a dot one side 9.05 and one side is 8.9. So I'm going to subtract 9.05, 9.05, subtract 8.9. Nope, that wasn't correct, was it? Let me try again. So 9.05 and this one 9.9, .9. oh 8.9, excuse me. So 8.9, 8.9, let's subtract 9.05, negative same thing. Okay, so 0.15. So what I'm going to do here, click one on that point there, and then I'm going to bring it up. Press on shift, drag it up and right click and I'm going to type in 0.15 then I'm going to click on OK alright so now let's double check 9.05 and here 9.05 so we just create this perfect dot for the skirt pattern next I'm going to remove this piece here we don't need them so my key selects and then delete them Okay, the next step, we are going to create the waistband. Yay. Okay, so, you know, by the way, guys, we probably finished this skirt before one hour because only been like 18 minutes and we already finished one, one fourth of skirt block. Okay, so we are doing pretty fast here. Okay, so next we want to use this edit pattern tool then we want to check the length of the waist. So click one to select, then press on shift and then click once again. Now come to this property editor. So one fourth of the waist now is 15.76. Okay, help me remember this so I don't forget. 15.76. So I will come over here to the rectangle tool and then I'm going to click one on the page and then we want the width to be 15.76 okay and then the height we want that to be six centimeter so we will use it as a preference next be sure to double check okay 15.76 okay i'm kind of glad at the 
property editor right now because the measurement is still there. Lucky us. Now the height, six centimeter. Then I'm going to click on OK. All right. So I'm going to click one on this edit pattern tool here. First of all, let me click on the transform pattern tool. I want to bring it down here a little bit. Okay. And simply click one on the page to deselect. That's just close. And then I'm going to click one on this edit pattern tool. Then we want to, right here, we want to create an internal line. Click on it, right click, and then select offset as internal line. And this time I'm going to have number offset one, distant individual. So we don't have to worry about these two things because we only have one internal line. So all we need to do here is type in the measurement. 1.25 then be sure to see the preview here sometimes they are like opposite if you left your option reverse direction it will go the other way so right now it's perfect because it came down here next i'm going to click on ok next we want to create internal line here from the side seam click one right click offset as internal line and I'm going to change that to 0.7 okay by the way guys you can use this method for petite for missy for women for plus I'm not sure because this is the draft pattern for those brains okay even for children you can use this for children curling but for plus, I would recommend find something out that would work because I don't do plus size right now. I do either children and another thing here, if you follow me for a while, I only do women clothing. I don't do men, okay? So that's another thing on top. Okay, plus let's get back to uh, waistband drafting. Okay, so number of offset one and we want the measurement to be 0.7 centimeter okay then I'm going to click on OK and after that we want to draw a line from here to here to do that I will use the internal polygon slash line tool click right here and then click up to here then I'm going to press return enter on the keyboard all right let's zoom in and I'm going to create a curve here once again that Edit curvature tool is super useful, guy. So I'm going to create a simple curve here. Uh, you don't want to pull it too low because then it's create this pointy thing. You want to create a curve enough to like steep enough, but not too steep. So kind of eyeball it, guy. And if it if it's not perfect, we can still edit after we create the curve after we unfold the the waistband. Okay. Next. I'm going to draw another line. I'm going to go to this once again, this internal polygon trans line tool. And we want to draw. Okay, I'm kind of ahead of myself here. So before we're going to do that, I'm going to cut this part first. I'm going to use the transform pattern tool. Then right click and I'm going to select cut here. Okay, we want to cut that part so we don't have to do extra stuff. Next, I'm going to use this edit pattern tool. Okay, my notebook. It's quite hot here, so I use the fan and it's like annoying. Okay, so I'm going to switch my tool to edit pattern tool here. And I'm going to click on that line there, right click, then I want to offset as internal line and we want that to be 3 centimeter. okay, that's a waistband. If you have like a, you know, thicker waistband, let's say 6 or whatever, it's up to you, but for like an average waistband, you see between 3 to 3.5. Three Other than that, it's depend on your design, okay. But for just average simple waistband, that's three, three and a half. Okay. So next, I'm going to click on OK. All right. So after that, we want to draw one more line. Okay. 
Thank goodness for the internal polygon trust line tool. Click on that. Then I'm going to click, okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Right here from this in point to this out point. Double click this time. So I just create this kind of a little bit uh, point in to, to give the waist a little snug, okay? And just a tiny bit make a huge difference when it's come to making pattern. All right, next we want to cut that out. To cut that out, I'm going to use the transform pattern tool. Click on that. Then click one to select. Then press on shift. We want to click this one too. Then I'm going to right click on both and then select cut. All right, so we literally cut all the pieces. Next, I'm going to remove this piece. We don't need it. I mean, if you draft some complicated pattern and you might need it for your preference, yeah, you can leave it out. But this, a little complicated because it has dot here. But if it's just a skirt itself, let's say if we draft a skirt for knitted fabric, you don't need dot. You just pretty much create the skirt and then for knit fabric, you just minus two centimeter for size seam and the skirt the knitted skirt will fit just right unless you have super stretchy fabric then a little different but for most knit fabric you minus two centimeter from the side seam this the knit will fit really well onto your body that's just another side tip okay all right so get back to our skirt here we just finished it's good block and that was less than 30 minutes oh not yet one fourth is good block okay so now let's do some cleanup here okay first of all we want to delete some of these lines we don't need them unless once again if you need as a preference but in this case we don't and right here this is the baseline so we're going to use the trace tool here click on that and then we want to delete the part that we don't want simply click on that line press on the delete key here and zoom in a little bit and delete them all I also want to convert this curve line too so let's go to edit pattern tool my key select right click so what happened guys this is applied to both real world or digital world as a pattern maker we want to make it as easy as possible for the cutter for the sewer so if we need to add notches add notches because we want the pattern to be as accurate as possible so if the sewer or the cutter don't have to think too much to figure out whatever we're doing we're doing really good but if they have to figure out whatever the heck you're doing that means we need to like do more cleanup and so on okay so this is just my uh, experience working with making clothes a uh, custom clothing by the way i did not make for manufacturer but the manufacturer process that was when i learned in college i kind of studied some of it and went to a shoe manufacturer and see how they operate but for custom clothing I make the pattern I cut I sew I finish it which mean I know the process to go next and how can I make it better for the next person to work on okay that mean apply notches label it right clean up whatever it need to be clean up okay Let's get back to our pattern cleanup process. All right, so this one, we don't need this line, I don't think. We can remove that too, but we can do that later if we have to. However, though, this line here is a must stay because that is a hip circumference line. And right here, this is for the dot, so we need that. This one, we don't have to, but you can use it as a preference because that's a straight line, okay? Also, it's right here as well. This one, maybe, maybe not. So we will figure it out along the way. All right, another thing here. So if you want to save this for fresh preference, you have two options. 
you can come over here click over here and I'm going to come over here to this 3d window and I want to click on this reset arrangement all here to reset all the pattern okay so let's say if I want to save this I don't want to delete it I have two options I can either save as and then remove or keep that and then save as for like the second file like first draft second draft or right now I can simply click on that right click and freeze it then right click once again and then select high 3d pattern so what this does when we operate on close the function everything stay the same let's say i press number two i see the front but if i don't hide this pattern it will be in the way so it is up to you but right now we don't need it i'm going to delete it simply click and press on the delete key on the keyboard or backspace now we only have two piece of pattern to worry about okay so next I'm going to uh, bring it down here and zoom in another thing to organize so clean them also organize them okay now I'm going to right click and then select the metric pattern with sewing and I'm going to press on shift here and then click one to play then I'm going to right click on them and then I want to remove link editing okay because I want to unfold this and I want to make a copy of this I mean I could unfold and do whatever but this is the faster because we need to apply the zipper on the back of the skirt okay so first I'm going to unfold these two so go to edit pattern tool click on this right click and then select unfold the same here zoom in right click and then unfold simply perfect now we have front and once again I'm going to my key select both of these actually all these center points right click and I'm going to convert to curve points just like that and after that I'm going to come out here so this is I'm going to simply my key select okay let's switch my tool to transform pattern tool first my key selects all these right click and then I'm going to select symmetric with pattern once again and then pressing on shift and then click one to place the pattern so now when I work on one side the pattern it will affect both um, excuse me Okay, so I'm going to zoom in closer here and we want to create a notch right here. To create a notch, I'm going to come over here and click on this notch tool and then zoom in closely. We want to apply it right on top of the zipper notch line right there, okay? Like that. And then while that tool is active, if we come to the property editor, we can change our notch type to, let's say this one. I might like that one better. All right. So after that, now it is time to sew the skirt, guys. So to sew the skirt, first I'm going to switch the tool to transform pattern tool. Then I want to come over here and then select this reset to the arrangement all and I want all the skirts laid just like that let me press on number two here and as you can see right here now the skirt lay over here and then over here okay so we have two options to sew this skirt however though dot it might work or it might not work we're not sure we can use auto function to sew this or we can sew traditional way let's try auto function work first if it doesn't work we will sew traditional way okay but first of all we have to lay the pattern on top of the okay 
I'm going to come over here to the 3D window, zoom in, and we want to come over here to this avatar display, click on that, and then click on the show or high arrangement point. I'm going to mark key select both of the front and waistband pattern, then hover the mouse over here. Let's see, right about here. Then I'm going to come over here. Let's click one just the front and then come to this property editor. I want to offset, kind of drag it to the right to expand this good a little bit better. Just like that. And then click on the waistband here, bring it down just a little bit and bring this up a little bit. Just like that. Now I'm going to press on number 8 here. We want the back skirt, okay? So simply my key selects all the skirt here. All the back skirt, sorry. And then hover the mouse over here. And then just like that. Okay, I'm going to hide this arrangement point for now. And I'm going to select this part here. Drag it up a little and click just the uh, waistband and drag it down okay first be sure to click one on the page to deselect or stay selected simply click and then drag next i'm going to click on that pattern there and then come to this property editor let me bring this up a little and then also click it and drag so come up here and see the size could a little bit better All right so i'm going to rotate so rotate simply right click and then command or control and then drag also get it out there and press on number eight we want to check this again so come in right now i'm going to reset this pattern i want to retry because it's a little bit more work than i wanted so click on those waistband how about leave the waistband only the back pattern click on both right click and we want to select the reset to the arrangement and then I'm going to click right here and then come back to this show arrangement point click one and then place it once again they both come with it however though it's look a little bit better so sometimes is the first one it seemed to be off kind of redo repeat the same stuff and the second time it's better most of the time it worked that way so now i'm gonna come over here and then hide that show arrangement point okay guys let's keep a finger cross here we want to use these let's press on number two so we want to use this automatic sewing tool so come over here to this 3d toolbar click on that and then this auto sewing pop up and we want to change from top to good perfect and then let's click on ok and see if it works okay so as you can see right here it doesn't seem like doing a good job once again because we have the dot we have two more complex so it doesn't know i'm going to click on number two here so seems like we have to sew it with the sewing tool all right so that will be fine we'll go to use the segment sewing tool to sew the size seam first and you can either sew it from this 3d window or the 2d window how you like it's whatever will work for you okay i'm going to sew this in a 2d window simply click and then start and then i'm going to rotate the skirt here and i will sew here sew here as well as the back side of the skirt okay i could use the sewing use a free sewing tool here in the back probably easier or press on shift and sew however i'm going to use the free sewing tool here okay then let's click click let's zoom in a little guy 
click once to start, hover the mouse to the right, click once again to end, then press on shift. I'm going to click right here on the skirt, then continue clicking. Okay. All right. So now we just sew the front skirt together, uh, the front waistband and the front skirt. Next, I'm going to sew here and then here, and then press on shift, click, click, and then sew. So I only have to sew one and it affects both. Perfect. Now I'm going to come over here and click on the transform pattern tool. I want to see the skirt. So this skirt looks pretty good. And next we want to sew this waistband together as well. Simply click on that segment sewing tool. And then segment sewing tool works for both 2D or 3D. And I'm going to sew the side seam as well. Click one. And then click one right here. Simply click one. And then click one right there. Next, I'm going to switch the tool to transform pattern tool and then press on number two to see the front view. Okay, actually this could look pretty good. Now I'm going to my key select all the pattern pieces, right click and then select strengthen. Then I'm going to come over here and click on the simulation icon to simulate. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, press on it once again to stop. I want to adjust the skirt up a little bit. Okay. And kind of clear this side a little bit. Now I'm going to simulate again. So the skirt actually looks pretty good, guys. And number two. So click it on again to stop here. Next, I'm going to press on number two to see the front view. And rotate it to the left, to the right. That is pretty awesome. Alright, so next we want to sew the zipper. Okay, alright, let's check the time. We have 20 more minutes and we have to finish this skirt. Okay, we have to do it fast. So now what we need here, we need to create the hem, we need to create the facing, we need to sew the zipper. Oop, I have a guess. So. Sorry guys for interrupting. Uh guy. Okay, good. So we got a house guest today and we just get a little bit quick interruption. Okay, so now we're back. All right, so first first thing we wanna do here, sew the zipper, okay? To sew the zipper, I'm going to sew it in this 3D window. And right now I'm going to delete some sewing. So go to edit sewing, click on that, press on the delete, and also with the waistband. And then I'm going to press on these, press on the space bar to simulate and hit it once again to stop as fast as you can. And after that, I'm going to select zipper tool, click on that, and then come over here, click one to start. And when it's come to sewing zipper, I will click kind of close but not super close, and then click it twice to end. Do the same here, click one to start and click twice to end. There you go. Next, I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate and click once again. Okay, so as you can see right here, I just made a mistake. I sold the zipper, but it's not even and we want that to be even. What we need to do, we have to delete that zipper and resell it. So go over here to the select slash move tool and then click on that zipper and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. So if that happened, it's okay guys because 
if it's one time it's not perfect do it twice do it three times if you have to because one time sometimes it doesn't work perfect if you get it perfect for the first time look at you okay now let's get back to the zipper tool and click one let's zoom in closer this time and I want the rather then right here not so close to the edge double click and then this time rather and then double click then see this time if it works however let me click one on the select slash move tool and I want to adjust that up a little bit and adjust this up just a little bit hopefully it doesn't ruin the whole thing now press on the space bar okay so that looks pretty good and they think it doesn't seem like it however though let's change the zipper side first and see the result let's click on that select slash move tool click on the zipper side here we want to change that to as small as possible come over here to this property editor and we want to change total width so teach width we leave teach width as is for now and then total width let's change it to 0.1 then press on the return no 0.1 doesn't take it let's go for 0.3 and then return into the keyboard yeah 0.3 now I'm going to press on the space bar once again to simulate. Okay, that worked pretty well. So now I can change the the teach width to let's say 0.1. See it take it. Yeah, it does. It's awesome. Let's press on the oh click on this simulation icon here. Okay. And press on the space bar to stop the simulation. So now the zipper looks pretty good. All we need to do here to change the color. However, though, we don't want to change the color yet. We want to change it after we apply the fabric. So we don't have to do the work twice, okay? But we want to change the zipper puller and zipper slider. Simply click on that and then come over here to the property editor and shape. We want to change the slider to somewhat like the invisible zipper right there. And then I'm going to change the puller to one of these thing here then we'll come down here let stopper definitely close in and since it is invisible I want to change to the smallest one and bottom the same thing change it to smallest one and now look at that zipper it's already improved let's just click on simulate and then press on the space bar once again to stop the simulation okay we are almost run out of time guys 12 more minutes how can we finish this okay let's do it fast all right so next i'm going to simply let me check the skirt first actually look pretty amazing so let's unstrengthen the skirt first okay my case selects and strengthen so by the way guy realistically by this time we should save our file okay because if the computer crash anything even though Clo has some automatic saving but it's not as exact that we want so we have to save this file first go to file and then we want to select save as and then save project and then I'm going to type in a line skirt uh, course and then navigate to my folder and I believe I already created my folder earlier which is um, beginner advanced right here close advanced core and then I did a test skirt first so now this is so just click on save here now we're safe okay so if messed up here we can actually go back another safe thing that we can do here if we can go to this history panel okay that will be super safe and we want to have this snapshot right here 
so this is super useful guy because you can save exact pattern exact post exact everything in this history state so click on this 3d state right here this t-shirt icon and I'm going to okay I'm going to leave it as is or you can name it so right click and then rename it so usually I name the state let's say zipper state simply you put zipper and then press return enter on the keyboard then I can actually click on that arrow there to hide that window so I can have more space to work with okay so next let's apply the fabric and then after apply the fabric we can create a facing or do whatever we need to do all right go to fabric and I want to type in the fabric right here to sew it and then so it wool press on return into the keyboard I want to apply wool fabric okay so let's see wool cashmere drag and then drop onto the fabric one right there and now we have the wool cashmere and the color do you guys like black I mean I kind of like a little bit different than black however though be careful because some of the fabric you can't really change the color you have to go in and hit the saturation offer before you get to change the color let's try black and then change the color first see if we can change it to different than black no it doesn't so i always like kind of blue skirt i don't really know why i mean i can create pink let's try pink maybe or even go yellow yellow is not bad all right let's try yellow skirt and click uh, apply and close then we go to fabric again then come to this right here we want to click on this saturation desaturate sorry so click on that desaturation and now we have the yellow skirt looking thing so right now this could look kind of flat again we have to do a couple of things here to improve we want to create the waistband to a little bit darker let's do that so make a copy of the fabric then change the name to waistband after that we want to change we want to apply that fabric on to that waistband simply click and apply then we want to change the color to somewhat a little bit darker so darker waistband is better than lighter but it's up to you if i bring it up lighter it doesn't look too great but if i bring it a little darker but not too dark it gives you this kind of an illusion of your waist look a little bit skinnier and it looks better you know i think that's just me so apply and close right there so it looks better already next the zipper the zipper really the color we can actually stick with that however though let's just change the color too change the color of the zipper zoom in because it's super easy to do click on the select slash move tool and then click on that zipper right there then come over here i'm gonna slide down and click on this color right there and use this eyedropper tool guy and then click on the zipper itself I like the zipper to show a little different so click on the escape key and then drag it somewhat to have the zipper to me I like it a little bit lighter so we get to see zipper on the skirt apply and close do the same with here okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and then click on the zipper right there simply click on the zipper and then come over here see if we are on the zipper yes we are then we want to change okay so we have zipper T zipper tape we want to click on the tape I mean we can also change the T2 to be perfect and click on this eyedropper and then click one right there see right there now the zipper tape to change the color next I'm going to click on the escape key on the keyboard and then click on close and apply there you go so now looks pretty amazing next we want to okay there are two more things we need to do here create the facing and I have six more minutes guys so create the facing fold the waistband and fold the skirt hem okay so let's fold the skirt hem first 
before we do that we will my case select and strengthen and once again come over here we want to save this snapshot in the history panel click on that because when it's come to folding anything in close you could mess up really quickly so you want to save that rename it oh, this is like a fabric so so far I have two stages I can delete the first stage if I want to but I don't have to now I'm going to close that window okay and let simply fold this thing all right and by the way guy we do not label the skirt yet we have to go in and then label the skirt let's just do it fast and let's change the fabric texture to monochrome first because now they're all white it's easy for us to label let's go for pattern annotation tool and then click on right here skirt and then front so waistband then front and click on that edit annotation tool to get out and over here so over here I'm going to rotate her and I'm going to click on right here so this is going to be the left side of the skirt okay excuse me so I'm going to type in skirt then L same here no not same I'm going to type in here skirt and then all so skirt left skirt right perfect then we are going to come over here I'm going to type in waistband and then L then right here waistband and then all then click on the edit annotation tool now we finish labeling the skirt okay next we are going to create this folding so to create a folding on the skirt i'm going to use this edit pattern tool click on that and i'm going to click one right here right click we want to extend that select offset pattern outline and then bring this window out a little bit and we want to extend that to be two centimeter okay and after that come down here we want to change this to mirror so mirror from here to here that's what we want and after that we want to check the create internal line box right there and then I'm going to click on OK here and we will do the same here I only need to do one side so click right click pattern offset pattern outline and then two centimeter so create internal line box is check default corner and mirror perfect then click on ok next we want to offset this internal line okay so let's try both one click on it and then press on shift click on the next one now release the shift right click and we want to select offset as internal line and this time it's perfect so we want to change that to two centimeter individual one perfect and it's that way excellent now i'm going to click on ok okay so that's easy now the hard part we'll come over here to this uh 3d window and we will use this tool here before we do that i'm what i want to go over here and click on the show internal line okay so now let's just expand that window a little and now I'm going to pan it up simply press on option or all and then left click to pan okay now I'm going to use this full arrangement tool click on that I'm going to click one right here drag it up and then I'm going to press on number two and then I will do the same here click on the front drag it up so drag left or right however I'm going to be sure they're up so now rotate a little bit okay next we want to sew here so I'm going to come over here to this 2d window 
and we want to sew this I'm going to use this segment sewing tool simply click one right there and then sew to this top line right there okay the same right here click one right here and then click one right here all right so next we want to extend this sewing line let's go to this edit sewing tool we are five we run behind simply click on that sew and then drag it down okay we have to finish this course guy we got to okay click right there and click right here okay so next I'm going to switch my tool to transform pattern tool and then let's simulate and see if it works yes it's perfect awesome I'm pretty happy so let's click in the next fan all right it looks pretty amazing okay let me bring in here and then my key select both and Z right click and then select unstrengthen there you go I'm going to hide that internal line because we don't need that anymore and this right here it looks kind of a little bit crinkle what happened we want to go to this edit pattern tool and then click on that internal line and then come over here we want this full render off and now it's much better we will do the same right here click on there and then click on this full rendering off there you go that looks amazing so right there guy next I'm going to click one right here to this like now we are going to create the facing okay press on number two here to see the front that looks pretty awesome and once again let my key select this right click select strengthen and I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate and press on once again to stop the simulation next let's create let's create the facing okay to create the facing my key selects all these waistband right click and then select layer clone under and then come over here we want to click one right there to place the facing there you go now i'm going to click on the space bar once again to simulate and click on once again to stop this time let's hide the avatar okay and then okay so we have a little bit issue with a facing here we have to flip it normal first of all let right click and then select unshrink then first and you see a uh, facing it's not bad however though it could be better if we flip it normal okay to flip this normal simply right click and then come over here and then flip oop i click on the wrong button so instead of solidify we want to flip it normal okay so select flip normal all right so next i'm going to once again my key select and then select strengthen and let's simulate it looks pretty amazing so okay there is something we also need to do here we can improve this skirt by applying the top stitches on to the skirt as well as create a silky feel like facing for the skirt okay so let's do that i'm going to create a fabric let's come over here and type in silk okay and then i want to apply the silk hmm we want the silk cashmere maybe i just love cashmere and then click on there now I'm going to my key select this and then apply the fabric both onto the facing. So now all the facing, I'm going to change the color of the facing a little bit. Uh, let go yellow, but a little bit lighter yellow, and then click on apply and close. 
Let unstrengthen to see the effects on the scoot. How about that? Unstrengthen and scream it down. Okay, so click on that seal and customer and then come down here. I'm going to change the property onto instead of matte, change it to either shiny or to kind of silk and satin. Now, as you can see right there, that the kind of slippery and comfortable. I love those finished look. And after that, all we need to do is apply the top stitches. So top stitches we can apply onto the waistband and the skirt hem. Let's do that. And we don't need a lot. We can either apply double stitches or single. It's up to you. Mostly I would apply single for wool like this as long as it's you know delicate the less stitches show the better however though if it knit I would recommend apply like double stitches okay so let's apply single stitches go to top stitch and click on that and I'm going to select segment top stitch and then click on this waistband right there and then as well as this one right here and then one right here Oop. so I suppose to apply on this top one so we have to delete this one simply zoom in first and then apply on that one and then apply on this one and after that I'm going to come in here and then delete it so select this top stitch at a top stitch tool click on that and then press on the delete or backspace on your keyboard to delete so let me zoom in see where I like the effects on the top stitch so is the color a little like too blended we want to change the color to somewhat that appear better when we snapshot this image we want a definite top stitch show so the customer see it even though in the reality we want it to blend in but in the image you want it to show so then you have the realistic look okay so let's go to that top stitch right there on the object browser click on that to activate and then I'm going to change the color so scroll down until you see the color here then I'm going to use this eyedropper tool click on it and then press on the escape key and simply click and then drag to somewhat that you can see the top stitch appear better not too dark not too obvious but enough that have the shade of darker than the the skirt itself so click on apply and close okay so now looks like we completed our course guy i actually love this color more than i thought i thought i would always like blue but turned out to be like yellow more like olive is that i love it too let's go number two so there it is guy we are finished making the beautiful airline skirt and if you guys have any more question or comment about this course, please leave the comment below. I love to hear more and I love you guys feedback because this is going to be uploaded to the course. If you guys join the member on YouTube, it's $4.99. So this course will be listed in that in that $4.99. So join YouTube member guys, it's a great support. and you can also learn more about pattern and I will have course upload every week okay so thank you guys for watching I appreciate it and see you next course again shoot support to those guys who actually joined the member on YouTube I appreciate it and I'm looking forward to create more awesome courses and something awesome and super easy I mean, time consuming, but it's fun, okay? So, thanks for watching and thanks again.